Russ Ryden with Devoted Golfer TV. I'm here with Dr. Laney Johnson. I met Dr. Laney here briefly last year, and he was showing us some interesting grip technology. This year, Dr. Laney is here with a new line of putters that incorporate that grip technology and a few other interesting features. Tell us a little about yourself, doctor. I'm a retired orthopedic surgeon, uh, 95. I retired, and um, a little bit of a joke. We had some company come over one night. <coughs> And they said, oh, are you still practicing? And I said, no, I'm 95. I retired in 76. Well, at that time, I was 76 and retired in 95. The people that got me look great yeah, for 95. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, for 95, <laughs> you're not looking too bad. Right. Anyway, um, uh, and I was one of the pioneers in arthroscopic surgery, and I invented most of the instrumentation in about 1970s, five, that's still used today in every hospital in the world. So it's pretty unusual that something, that technology would have that longevity. So that was a, a fun thing, and I've written uh, most of the early textbooks on arthroscopic surgery. As a result of being one of the pioneers, I uh, treated a lot of world-class and Hall of Fame athletes. And, and how did you end up going from orthopedic surgery and the development of orthopedic surgical machinery, that's a hard one to get out, yeah. into golf clubs? Well, what happened, uh, about 10 years ago, I was at a Michigan State basketball game, and it was snowy, and it was kind of icy, and so I parked inside of a ramp where I knew it would be safe. And after the game, I came out, and I let my wife in the car, walked around the car, and I slipped on a patch of ice about that big, dripping from the ceiling in this closed parking. I fell, dislocated my left shoulder, had to have rotator cuff surgery, and I live in Carlsbad in the winter, and I couldn't do anything, and so I started messing around with putting. And I started applying some of the same ideas that I developed in surgical line to putters. I, and it was kind of a joke. I came out with some putters I thought were pretty special. I came out here on the tour and started showing people, but they'd already seen 1,000 of the world's best putters. So I thought I should have called my putter 1,001 because they'd already seen 1,000 of them, <laughs> even though I thought I had a good idea. And so, so what are we calling this putter? Well, actually, this putter is called T2 equals P2. Titanium and tungsten equals path and pace. So I figured that if I could ever get this out on the tour and people could see this, that it would be identified. You can see it's pretty easy to see that T2 equals P2. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a formula for good putting. Mm -hmm. And I think a little earlier I showed you some of the things that you can do with this putter that's a little surprising. You did, and, and we're going to do some of those things over again. Now, one of the things that I've noticed on this putter or that you showed me earlier is that this putter actually has roll has a vertical radius of three inches, so that if you look at this putter on end, the fulcrum is here, there's a three inch vertical radius. There also is a three degree slope, like most putters have, like three to five degrees. Mm -hmm. But So we have the combination of this, because on the studies that I did, 11% of amateurs and 35%, excuse me, 11% of pros, 35% of amateurs change the shaft angle a couple degrees, one putt to the next. Well, if you have a three degree putter and do this, now you got a one. If you got a three and do this, you got a five. Well, why, don't you why don't you show me that over here okay. on the putting green? Sure. So, what's the benefit of putting roll on a putter face? Well, it allows you to make an error. It allows you to close the face down more than you normally would and putt, and the ball rolls fine. Or if for some reason you got your hands back behind it, the ball rolls fine. Because all that you're doing is hitting either higher or lower on this face. I see. If you had a flat face and you close it down, you're hitting from a 3 to a 1. And if you go the other way, you're hitting from a 3 to a 5. And a 5 travels and bounces difference than a 3. And this, and having a forgiving nature to it, it doesn't matter whether you push it forward or back. Not intentionally, but if you make a mistake, it's going to cover for you. So you could even do it this crazy, and the ball will roll nicely. Now, you gave me some stats earlier about PGA pros. 11% of PGA pros will change the shaft angle two degrees or more in a uniform putt of 10 feet. And, and, and how does the average golfer? 35% of the time, he will change it more two degrees or more, which is now how would he hold a hole in day to day? He could, must be changing an awful lot if they do it in a uniform environment two degrees mm -hmm. day to day and hold a hole they must be changing a lot so there is probably an unrecognized need for a putter that has a forgiving face so if we look down at the ball again and if I like I get here but when I come into it my hands are forward 
I want that ball to roll nice. Or in the next hole, my hands were somewhat back, I want that ball to roll nice. And you notice both balls rolled just about the same. It didn't matter. But if I had a, did not have a vertical radius to this, one would drive in the ground, the other would bounce up off the ground. And in this case, it doesn't matter how you do it, the ball's going to roll right along the ground. Now, you were telling me earlier about the heel and toe weighting that you've done in this putter, and I tried it a little bit earlier, and, and I was so impressed that I'm back here to show it to everybody. Okay, first of all, the, the metal is titanium, which is a very hard metal, but also a very light metal. So there's only 75 grams of the weight of maybe the 360 gram head in this central portion. The rest of the weight is heel and toe. And these are each one of these are tungsten tubes, which is a very heavy metal, like gold. And those t are at heel and toe, and that makes a very, lack of a better word, a very severely weighted heel and toe, which therefore broadens the sweet spot so that you could hit it off the extreme toe or the extreme heel. Ball rolls about the same. Now, you don't want to do that. But it, all we do is we're showing you how wide the sweet spot is. Hmm. So you want Let to me do try a that. Thing? Yep. Okay. Now, when I tried this earlier, I was having actually a hard time setting up as far to the toe well, yeah. as you wanted me yeah, to. Have I got it? Yeah, okay, so I got it. Right got it right there. The I am way off the toe, and and the ball went in the hole. The ball went in the hole. Okay, now do it the other way, so really off the heel. No one puts this way. This is a demonstration to establish the very wide sweet spot in the putter. Just a very uh, heavily weighted heel and toe, so you can be this extreme off the heel, and the ball will roll right at the hole, which you just made another putt. No one would putt that way, but what we're doing is we're showing you if you really lost it and we hit it off the heel or toe, you're still That's going to pretty be extreme. Fine. Yeah. Now, now, the other thing that we talked about earlier was the fact that this radius front edge is going to eliminate side spin. Yes, and the reason is that uh, these are bars, uh, horizontal bars. For instance, I described what's called impact geometry, mm -hmm. and the geometry of the impact between this ball and the face is a line. The normal flat face, it's a circle. If mm -hmm. I, you know, the mm -hmm. ball will go against it and make a circle. But the ball going against this, because of the arc, the ball can only impinge either one of the facets, mm -hmm. medical word, or two facets. Okay. I mean, but it's like putting with the front end of a sand iron, which people have showed you can, right. and the ball runs really nice. So when you putt with this, and just the first one to hit it straight, it ought to go nice, but you also can cut across this up 25, 30 degrees, which nobody would want to do. But if you did the ball will still roll relatively straight. Let's because, see how that works. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do here, Lanny, is I'm going to come severely outside in, and I'm going to keep this as square as I can. There you go. And there it is. We saw that ball go with no side spin, didn't yeah, we? right. That's what's kind of amazing to people. So then if, if for some reason you were hitting it out on the toe or the heel, didn't know it, you forward press, didn't know it, and you cut across the ball, this ball still rolls straight at the hole to everybody's amazement because of the technology that's in that patented face. So we've got the, we have the ultimate magic putter. Well, I call it the forgiving face. The forgiving face. Yeah, the face on this putter, I know what to do. It's going to go pretty straight. Tell me about the grips. Okay. We talked a little bit about this last year, and you have a slot down here to enhance somebody's feel. Yes. Actually, what uh, I should give you a little preamble. The human body knows three-dimensional geometry with no lessons. I can reach in my pocket and pull out a cell phone. I don't need a lesson. If I want my glasses, my body can discern their glasses. Mm -hmm. And so if I take a hold of this mm -hmm. and I put my hand on this, mm -hmm. my body gets a dermal imprint on the skin. And that is the shape of the shaft of the golf club. But in addition, it's the position of where the golf club is in space because the golf club doesn't know where it is in space. Mm -hmm. Only you would. And you could, on a round grip, have a more general sense of where it is in space. But this grip, which in this case is a putter grip, tells you exactly where it is in space. And then we've enhanced the psychomotor input to what every golfer has to have, a word called proprioception. The fact that I know where my body is in space without another lesson.
What's the benefit here? How does the golfer benefit from okay, this? Well, the golfer benefits without even knowing anything because the test that we've done, we didn't tell the golfer what we were testing. Mm -hmm. We just said, would you look at this club and hit these shots? And whether it was a putter independently test by one of the major OEMs or out here on tour with the drivers or irons, we told them we're testing the club. We didn't tell them the grip. They would test it. They'd see they'd hit it more in the center of the face. And uh, the, what, the reason is that this high sensory input off of your skin tells you where the shaft is in space, and that kicks into what every golfer has to have is proprioception. So I can close my eyes and find where I am in space without looking. And so the proprioception is enhanced as compared to other types of grips, and therefore the player will bring it back into position better than he could otherwise. Now, we also talked a little bit earlier about your mallet putter. Let's grab one of those and take a look at it. Okay. waiting for Padre Harrington, who is going to come at two. He hasn't okay. come yet, but I don't want to miss him. He wants to get the grip, so. Okay. okay, so here we have one of Dr. Laney's mallet putters. And what I said to him earlier was, I've always played a mallet because I use the lines on the top of the putter to aim with. And at that point, he pointed out to me that there's two steps on this putter and that if I aligned the line on the top step with the line on the bottom step, that I would not only have my alignment guide, but I would also have an indicator that my eyes were dead over the ball, which is going to be how I'm going to aim. That's Innovative. Correct. That's correct. It's a pretty simple principle, but uh, rather than a continuous line or one line, these two lines with an offset top to bottom, uh, allow you to have both benefits of alignment and also eyes over the ball. Dr. Laney, where do I get one of these putters? Well, I have a website called prescriptiongolf.com, and they can go on that and they can see that and they can purchase it uh, off of that site. Actually, it might require a little bit more of them saying exactly what they want. This happens to be a long putter or a belly putter. Mm -hmm. it has a step off here. I have others like this that have central uh, shafted, so... They'd have to say exactly what kind they wanted, but that has the same technology on the face as the one we just tested. Mm -hmm. But it has another benefit that most people aren't aware of. <coughs> uh, Carson Solheim came out with a heeled hope weighted putter, yes. which has become a standard. But testing I did on robots showed that if you do heel, toe, underside, back is mm -hmm. the most efficient way to weight a putter. And uh, this one happens to have two tongues and weights in it, and in fact, you could have one tungsten, and one stainless or vice versa or one plastic you can change all the weights and then it could be face balance or right so not, if i want if i yeah. want a face balance putter if i'm used to a face balance putter i can face balance it yeah or you can if i want make a total weight tall, yeah, yeah, exactly you do just, all those just things. change those yeah and i can just i can change the overall weight yes you would yes yeah. Uh -huh. yeah you can I, have it any way you want that's what i find to be most important in putter fitting for most people is overall weight finding a weight that they can hit consistently to both short distances and long distances and to me that's about overall weight yeah so we've got something here easy to change well yes you just with the allen wrench take those out and we could have the interchangeable weights mm -hmm. to go in it and, and what's the name of the website again prescriptiongolf.com okay and some people even doctors write in per say i couldn't find your website prescription it's prescription golf com. So we have to know how to spell it. Yeah, right. That's well, we're going to put it on the screen right here uh, for okay, everybody to okay. see. All right. Then I'll be able to get it that way. Well, good luck out here. Hey, listen. Thank you so much. Thanks for spending it, some time Russ. with us. My pleasure.